So we um, in the Center for Colorectal and Pelvic Reconstruction, affectionately known as the CCPR, take care of patients with colorectal and pelvic problems. The vast majority of our patients are from out of town, uh, so they need a place to stay uh, locally with good access to the hospital. So far we've had patients from 49 out of the 50 states. We've had patients contact our center from 53 countries um, and they usually call or email. They are a lot of times desperate when, I, when they talk to me on the phone. Um, a lot of times this is one of the many facilities they contact and so um, when they do finally get somebody on the phone, sometimes there's tears, sometimes there's just rattling off a story that takes, you know, from zero to nine years old and, and you know, all of the troubles that they've had. The majority of our patients, when they initially reach out to us, we, you know, in our extensive process of getting them here, um, just about everybody expresses concerns about housing. Where are we going to stay? What hotels are in the area? It's a relief to them to know that there is a place that they're able to go and that's, you know, manageable financially for them to make it here. We start a fairly complex process of figuring out what the problem is, what interventions have been done before, and try to formulate a detailed plan so that they can come, have all the radiology they need, see all the team members uh, that they need, potentially even all on the same day or two on one uh, visit. They get to Ronald McDonald House and they can just breathe. They realize that, you know, from here on out, we'll have two meals at least per day. We'll have somewhere to lay our head down at night. And if that housing piece isn't there, um, then it's hard to provide the appropriate care. For them to come and to have clarity and to see the doctors and the nurse practitioners and the whole, you know, everybody that helps bring them here and meet everyone, it's it's so great for them to, to just see relief in their face that they actually have answers for all of the questions that they've been searching for for such a long time. We had a patient last week that came from overseas and they had been in another hospital for over six months. And the mother and father, we couldn't get out of the room because they didn't want to stop telling us how relieved they were to finally be here. That they had been somewhere else where the process was taking months and months to see multiple providers. And they couldn't get over the fact that they walked into one place on one day and saw every provider that needed to care for their child. I think having families that are well rested makes a big difference. It was a stressful time in their lives. And we always talk about it being a marathon, not a sprint, and how at least one of them should sleep well every night and so what often happens is one parent will stay on the floor with the child and the other will sleep at Ronald McDonald and that makes a huge difference to them as a family group because then the next person can kind of be on point the next day. We do a better job if they're more involved, um, if they're more attentive to details it improves our role as clinicians and they're better able to do that if they're easily accessible, well rested, in a good mood, um, um, and uh, the Ronald McDonald House provides that in a way that no, no other place could potentially do that. It provides an area of, of camaraderie amongst the families. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of these families feel like they've been on their own for a long time mm -hmm. and they bond uh, at Ronald McDonald together, So, which would never happen if they were staying at multiple um, hotels around the city. You know, it's the sort of home away from home and it's the extension of the floor and the team. Often the children will come and only one parent is either present or able to make the trip. Maybe there's two parents in the child's life, but only one can come to Columbus. And the Ronald McDonald House for that patient is critical. They would never leave their child's bed if they had to get in a car and drive to a hotel to take a shower, but they can run across the street for half an hour, or they can have another parent that they've met from the Ronald McDonald House run over and grab their lunch for them, a bag lunch, and bring it back to them at bedside, where that mother would have not otherwise been eating. I mean, I did surgery in both the United Kingdom and South Africa before here, and we didn't have Ronald McDonald houses. We do have McDonald's, but, um, <laughs> but uh, and it makes a huge difference. Uh, having uh, provide, running a practice uh, in a city and providing care for the whole country and having patients have to stay in hotels all over the city, it's totally different. I've seen three houses, Ronald McDonald houses, in my career here at Children's and each one is just more spectacular than the one before. It's so big. I mean, you've, you've taken the sides of that um, 
building and, and doubled it in a room size in different rooms that you have so we can serve more of our families. I think a big part of our mission is education and we have a lot of uh, doctors and nurses from all over the world that come and want to see what we do and try to learn skills and help their patients. We're really excited about that. It's an extension of our work and we end up helping patients that we'll never meet. Whenever I take these visitors on tours of the hospital, I always show them the Ronald McDonald House. They need to know that when the families are coming here from far away, if we don't have a partner like Ronald McDonald House, they will not have the same visit. And in fact, having the program here required a strong partner in the Ronald McDonald House. When we decided to come to Columbus and Nationwide Children's Hospital, that was one of the first meetings that I insisted that we have. So when these visiting doctors and nurses come, they need to recognize that that's a key part of the program. Because my hope is that they go back and realize that they may have a deficiency in that part of the process. Let them have their own Ronald McDonald House from wherever city they're from, because the care is improved by that uh, interaction. And I think also, you know, many people have altruistic intentions, and I think often they find it difficult to identify with needs far away from their own community. Um, you know, supporting a child in the third world, clean water, whatever projects they want to get involved in, but they're very intangible projects. And I think the Ronald McDonald provides people with an access to people from afar that they can help while still working in their in their local community and I think that's a fairly unique way for them to be able to express that altruistic intention that they have. People in Columbus are often very surprised by what's going on at Nationwide Children's Hospital. They often can't believe that there's some program that patients are coming from all over the country and all over the world for. What they need to understand is that program wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the relationship with Ronald McDonald House because we cannot take care of patients that are from far away without that partnership. By supporting the Ronald McDonald House, they're supporting their own children's potential needs for that kind of care.